Hey, what's up YouTube? Um, I came up with an idea after doing some research regarding CO2 injections into the aquarium. Uh, a lot of the do-it-yourself videos talk about the problem of uh, the inability to turn off the CO2 injection into the tank at night. Um, as you know, the plants stop taking in CO2 at night in fact they start taking in oxygen and so you don't want to inject a tank with more CO2 because then your fish are basically going to suffocate and they will uh, start gasping for air at the top of the tank so in order to prevent that I came up with this uh, little contraption now here's my um, CO2 generator, you do it yourself. Uh, the recipe can be found on uh, all over YouTube, um, but essentially it's you know sugar, water, and yeast. Now, the typical videos say just to have one hole come out of here and either straight into the tank or into the bubble counter. Um, in this one, I made two holes, and the reason why I did that is because the first hole basically is just kind of a an outlet or an outflow and I put that there because when I want to turn off the CO2 which is to turn off this, tighten up this this valve there's no more air that's going to come out of here and go into my bubble counter because it's going to be closed what I did instead was then open up this valve and the air or pressure is going to escape and come out of here that way at night no CO2 will be going to the tank and then during the day I'm going to turn off the um, this valve so no the air cannot come out turn this valve back on and the air will then continue to go back into the bubble counter so um, that's one way that you can control the CO2 injection into your tank uh, with the do-it-yourself method um, <clears throat> you know obviously you're going to be losing you know CO2 at night but it beats, you know, having that pressure build and possibly uh, the bottle exploding on you, and that would be a big mess. So, you know, I'm going to give it a shot. Uh, this is the night before I'm going to start it up. I don't have the yeast in there just yet. I'll start it in the morning, and uh, hopefully we'll get some bubbles in here, and my uh, plants will uh, start growing. I'm really trying to get this dwarf hair grass off the ground and get it up uh, pretty tall and hopefully start spreading. And uh, I'll give you an update and see how we go. Alright, thanks for watching guys.